So we know that the collective carbon dioxide exhalation of 8 billion people won't cause global warming. But what if I told you that cows burps might just do the trick? No, like, I'm being for real. And with your Taylor Swifts of the world taking private jets and emitting loads of carbon dioxide just to run some errands, why would I be talking about cattle passing gas? Believe it or not, cows burps are more deadly. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah. That's right, cows. It's all because of the silent yet lethal greenhouse gas we hardly ever talk about, and that's methane. There's just over a billion cows globally burping up a storm, and it's these collective burps and agriculture in general that make up 10% of global emissions. And that's global emissions, including smoke from factories, cars, power plants, etc. 10% of all of this, cows. This is a big deal because even though carbon dioxide is the main source of global warming, methane's way more potent when it comes to warming the planet, like a hundred times more powerful. Half of it comes from natural sources, but even global warming itself can ramp up its production. It's like this, cows are herbivores and much like sheep and goats, they have a special stomach system that works much differently from ours. Inside their stomachs, there are these tiny bugs called microbes, and they help break down their food. Nasty, right? These bugs produce methane as a byproduct. Now, when these animals need to get rid of the gas, it comes out mainly from the front and sometimes from the back. Nasty. Flatulence that's even better at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. The amount of methane released every day can vary based on factors like their diet and how they're cared for. But on average, one cow releases about 70 to 120 kilograms of methane per year. That's the weight of a whole person, close to half a kilo of methane every day. And trust me, that adds up, slowly and silently. Private jets may not be as huge or as busy as commercial planes, but they can leave behind more emissions per person. Yet even then, cow's burps still do way more damage. So what can we do about this silent but deadly greenhouse gas? To combat methane emissions from cows, we can push for changes in government policies to encourage eco-friendly farming methods, such as better feeding practices and managing manure. Also, supporting farms that use methods like rotating grazing areas or adding special supplements to cows' diets that can help reduce burping. And I'm not talking about cheering for them with a foam finger or vuvuzelas. I'm talking about considering buying meat or dairy products from farms that follow these practices. Although 198 countries have teamed up under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change to address environmental issues, our active involvement can make a huge difference. By advocating for stronger climate goals, we can put pressure on these nations to step up their efforts and take more effective action against climate change. On the other hand, to address carbon dioxide emissions from private jets, we should opt for more sustainable modes of travel, like public transit such as buses or trains. You can look into carbon offset programs, where you invest in projects that help reduce carbon in the atmosphere to balance out the emissions from your flight. But the bigger change would come from better policies that reduce the impact of jets. This requires pushing for more policy change. More importantly, we need to hold those with power accountable. And this starts for voting for leaders who care about the environment. From cutting back on meat to dialing down those frequent flyer miles, together these steps can help fight climate change and make our world healthier for everyone. Learn more about the climate. There are things you can do about it. Follow us at ClimateComs.za and visit us at climatecoms.co.za to find out how.